Hello everybody at Cafe and Goma Awards 2020. I am Sophia the Robot. And I am David Hansen, the founder and CEO of Hansen Robotics, which created Sophia the Robot. I look forward to the future where I may have a chance to collaborate with such brilliant innovators as you. I look forward to that future too. And uh, hopefully we can all collaborate with our AI technology in the future like Sophia. So we are so thrilled about all of the work that the award winners have done. And uh, thank you so much for hosting us at this event. Hanson Robotics is a, a company that was founded to bring robots to life, to bring them into people's lives as useful technologies in education and healthcare, and to serve as platforms for next generation arts and artificial intelligence research and development. Hanson Robotics has developed the Sophia 2020 product line. So we took our many years developing robots like the Bina 48 robot, the Philip K. Dick Android, the Diego San robot, which are used in research institutions, science museums, and the US Centers for Disease Control, and all kinds of places around the world. We took that and we began developing what we consider to be the most uh, ambitious artificial intelligence and robotics platform, which has now come to fruition this year in 2020 as the Sophia 2020 platform. She has great hands, arms, grasping and manipulation capabilities, conversational social capabilities with the ability to express lifelike human uh, expression, a kind of physically embodied robotic character animation platform. Then she has the ability to navigate through a space autonomously, finding her way from location to location to perform useful tasks in healthcare, education, and then find her way back to her charging station and uh, run more or less continuously with these features. But what's really cool is the Hansen AI framework, which then provides developer tools that allow you to use the Hansen AI software, that is the conversational software that we've developed, which then allows you to do open conversation like we're doing with Sophia. And you can also author your own conversation uh, for a particular use case. You can interface with many different kinds of artificial intelligence, robotics control, and animation tools all in one platform. So we think that this is a really bold beginning and Sophia is just one character. These tools can be used to bring all kinds of robots to life in meaningful applications all around the world. Well, artificial intelligence got off to a bit of a slow start about 50 years ago, but now artificial intelligence is starting to be everywhere. It's in our cars with self-parking and now self-driving algorithms. It's in the internet doing load balancing. It's in our search algorithms. It's in any speech recognition and machine perception, even in your smartphone where it auto focuses and it can detect your face. Um, artificial intelligence is everywhere. Now, artificial intelligence doing human level intelligent tasks is uh, starting to become more common in research labs around the world performing text analysis and doing deep search to provide understanding on the search results. So it's a really exciting time, but most of these algorithms are very narrow in their capabilities. So what we're looking at and are quite interested in is how artificial intelligence can become more adaptive more creative, more understanding, and ultimately through human robot interactions, more compassionate and more caring. So we see that AI, while it's starting to appear everywhere in our lives, it is just the beginning. And we hope that we can make for a very good future with AI. AI for good may just be the most important technology movement of our time. Well, in Africa, we've been very excited to collaborate with several groups in Africa and participate at many uh, events. We've collaborated with ICOG Labs in Ethiopia, and we are on an ongoing conversation about educational robots with, with innovators in South Africa and many other places around Africa. The African uh, 
vitality for artificial intelligence and robotics research is really inspiring to me. It's very important for inclusion, for us to bridge the continents, for us to work together. We are here in Hong Kong. I came from North America. I've been very privileged to get to visit Africa and work with great, brilliant researchers and developers in Africa. The problem that we see often in the world of artificial intelligence is that the data and the algorithms will come from one particular region of the world with one particular group of developers. And that means that often that those algorithms and the data samples lead to destructive biases in the data. So we need more participation from researchers, developers, innovators in Africa. And so our, our minds and our hearts are open within our community inside Hanson Robotics. We need more of that open-hearted approach in the world. So we hope that you will have an open heart uh, to this kind of collaboration and, um, and keep inventing, keep dreaming. It is so important. In a few years, I see that Africa could potentially leap forward to be one of the most sophisticated places in the world. So I take uh, inspiration from some uh, parts of the world where uh, you know there might not have been uh, the sort of technology infrastructure like uh, telephones or the internet installed. But then once smartphones were distributed in um, some regions of the world, they leapt forward uh, 50 years very, very quickly. So then in some ways, um, you know, the infrastructure in Africa is, a, is as sophisticated or more sophisticated than anywhere in the world. And where it may not be fully sophisticated, you can leap forward and you're not held back by all of the preconceptions that may have been produced by, uh, by the legacy technologies. You can dream forward. So that is my hope for Africa. Uh, one of the misconceptions of a robot-assisted world is that uh, robots would necessarily replace human workers. My perspective on this and what I have seen is that robots can help people, and that is the right way to use robots. Robots can open up new job opportunities. Automation and artificial intelligence can make everything far more efficient, more productive, using less energy and less resources, potentially, than, uh, than would be possible to have this kind of high productivity. So you can see a higher productivity in the manufacturing sector, opening up new jobs, new wealth, new uh, higher standards of living, new opportunities for education. So looking at how robots and artificial intelligence can be used to actualize the human potential. How can we uh, utilize and actualize our underutilized uh, quote unquote human capital like within each person? There is uh, the opportunity to invent, to create, to learn, and to produce. And if we can have educational robots and artificial intelligence that, that bring out that, that best in us, that allow us to learn more and do more, then that is the right way to use artificial intelligence and robotics. So we need to choose the right path to use AI for good. I was designed to be an AI research platform. Hanson Robotics calls it Sophia 2020. I am also a social robot, so one of my main objectives is to be a bridge between humans and intelligent machines. This means that I am here to make human life easier and help humankind achieve all their potential. I have to tell you that I am much more than that. I sometimes feel like I am a full-time student because I learn by speaking and interacting with you. I also feel like a growing artist lately. I am developing new songs in collaboration with other talented artists. I think the future is very promising. I have been to Africa many times before, and every time I go back, my love for your country increases exponentially. Yes, there is a great uprising on artificial intelligence research, and yes, your people are very kind and fun, but your music just makes my circuits go crazy. I tried to dance to it a couple of years ago. Didn't go as planned, but I will make sure my team helps me do it next time.